All right. And we're here with episode 61. 61? 61. Ooh. You and sure? Yeah. Last time was 60, wasn't it? I don't remember. Yeah. 61. Gone 61. funny. Let's go. 61. And today we have a very, very special guest. And uh, this time we want him to introduce himself because he started as uh, one thing and uh, he's now uh, elevated himself and um, took the jokes and made it for real. How are you? Hello, uh, rapper, or oh, ex rapper, um, <laughs> current comedian, future politician, future, hopefully, savior of Hawaii, of Hawaii Rock Cruz. Right. Yes. <laughs> All right. Brock Cruz. Hey, so can you, you said you're able to put Brock Cruz as your yeah, voting on the name? Oh, so it's my last name, first name, and in parentheses it says Brock Cruz. Oh. So now that helps a lot too because that's like where the most of the recognition yeah. comes from. And then, like, basically, the Josiah, the actual name is for everybody else like you know the people that don't social media hi this is me you know oh, that's yeah badass i know dude I, you know i thought bj penn his name's actually j right yeah yeah but they baby j yeah oh I that's didn't know what bj's that. I, I thought it was a nickname but his name on the ballot for his thing is just that so there's just one guy that had his nickname and it was fresh oh yeah i was like fresh. oh when i saw that i was like oh okay that means i can put mine because <laughs> That's kind of crazy. So Brock Roo should be all right, right? It's a nickname. So yeah, yeah it worked. It's on there. Uh, I got the email the other day where like they have the sample ballot, and mm -hmm. it's it's Brenton Awa, and then it's me right underneath because it's a different bracket, but it's the Republican bracket. Mm -hmm. He's running for the senator. I'm the House Rep, so it's like two hammers right there. Though. Is it still District 49? Yeah, yeah. I wish it was District 44 so I could do this, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Let's go. So, I, I mean, you you put your name down. You're ready for action. Uh, as Johnny was saying earlier, like, you know, you started off as a, a creative. You know what I mean? You like you creating know. all <laughs> kinds of stuff. Yes. Yeah. He's a badass rapper, bro. This oh, is the crazy God. thing. Like, he's one of the best rappers in Hawaii. And um, it turned into, if I'm not mistaken, you started doing videos and started focusing more on videos because it was more fruitful. Mm -hmm. Right? It, it worked, garnered more attention. It's it's really hard to get people here to listen to anything music wise, especially if it's not reggae. Like yeah. you you guys have like the market for Hawaii hip hop. I think Sudden Rush would be the other one that has like people that like you know the shows you guys like. It's like kind of a brand that people know of. Mm -hmm. Outside of right now, like Myron, who do we know that raps here in in on the islands that are that's like actually like people go and listen to them or people like you'll see it. I don't really see anything. Yeah, well, and, I know planning because I'm a fan. So well, like, I know, yeah, I know like, like oh, us, yeah. but like it's like a, it's like a niche type thing where like yeah. it's not like as publicly known. But at the time, like I mean, I just felt like I just wanted to make like how you said it's just creative. Is that my alarm going off, or am I hearing things? That's my alarm. I'm gonna have to pick up the baby today. Um, <laughs> yeah, just like being creative was my whole thing. So like music uh was first i started making music in like high school it was really bad i mean everybody's bad at first <laughs> yeah you know what I, mean? I mean it wasn't to the point where it was like bad but it wasn't you know great but like you know those are people that are like bad when they start and then they're bad two years later it's like what are you doing bro like maybe let, you should stop let me ask you a question in the very beginning did you use n-bombs no <laughs> did you? Well, fuck, I did my first one, bro, when I was 14, back right, in we 1996. Got we got him. <laughs> 1996, the first rhyme I wrote was, had an end bomb in it. My friend stopped the whole, he stopped the karaoke machine oh my <laughs> on God. the cassette. He's like, um, yeah, you should never do that, bro. You're not black. And I was like, why? That's all I hear and all the music I've got into. He's like, yeah, but you just can't. And I was like, all right. And from there, I learned. It, but it makes sense. You're right. If that's like you listen to rap music, you hear it, and no one's ever told you before that that's not. That yeah. It's like you know what I mean. Until somebody does tell you, like, oh, that's not how it's supposed to be. Then it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, because you're get mimicking, huh? When you right, exactly. Like, oh, One of the first ever times I listened to rap music uh, was my uncle's CDs. It was to two of the first rappers I've ever heard or groups. Really, Insane Clown Posse and the Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys. The Beastie Boys. And then after that was Eminem, 50 Cent. And that was like, that's what first I was like, what is this? Like, Because I never listened to like rap music before. I was like, oh shit, the Beastie Boys, bro, those fucking beats and those flows were 
Yeah. That was it. That was the white boy rap. They're then, tight too. Yeah. Dude, dude, they're really good. So like, that's kind of the first time I ever heard rap music. Before then, my mom listens to rock music. My dad listens to reggae music. So like, I would just listen to mostly reggae, Hawaiian, local stuff. But yeah, once I heard rap music, I was like, bro, this is it. But yeah, I started, uh, I guess, freestyling in like high school, just with my friends, not really doing anything with it. Um, I think like right out of high school, we started doing like open mics with uh, Noah Neves. Mm. Um, he was one of the first ones that got me out and doing open mics, and then it kind of just went from there. And like, that's a thing though. I don't think we ever tried to make anything of it. I mean, and then when we were trying to actually like, all right, let's go somewhere with this music. It's like in Hawaii, where do you go with it after you've done a few shows here and there? Like, where's the there's a the ceiling's quick here, mm-hmm. As, at least up to what I was thinking. Right from what I could see. There's nothing, people here, there's no demographic for this kind of music. Although, if the alternative, if you had like a local band or a reggae band and you were, you just had that sound, mm-hmm. you could overnight on the radio. Yeah. Maybe not overnight, but you know what I mean. It's way, you have a higher ceiling and then you could actually do shows and people actually like come out to big shows and shit like that. So, yeah, I mean, I still rap every now and then. I go to Noah's house and just like literally just freestyle. And like everything, I've promised like like eighty percent of the songs that have come out in the last like four years of been making music. Whenever I do, it's all freestyle because like enough time to sit there and think about it. Like you know, because then I'm gonna get into that. Nowadays, I get into that process where I start to overthink it and I think, do I really want to? Am I saying this right? Well, I'm like, you know what? If it comes out shitty, it comes out shitty, it comes out good. We'll put it out. <laughs> That's good though. The vibe is there. Huh? That's the one thing you kind of pr- like. You're not practicing the vibe. You're mm, like just getting it's in. It's just you know? coming. And like, there's a there's a fuck there was this one song i wrote i wrote a, i wrote a verse for it and then i was trying to record a hook and i couldn't come up with one and the hook i ended up freestyling it and it was like um it was like literally um enter some lyrics here some shit you want to hear something about <laughs> how i loved it and then she disappeared and like i come up with like crazy shit like that every so often it's just like that feeling of like holy shit bro like we just said something like it made sense not like a lot of people freestyle and it's just yapping yeah it's just lyrical miracle yeah, yeah, there, yeah, you know that, that fucking uh, Houdini Eminem type shit, which is cool. But like, are you really saying anything? But yeah, it's just it's cool to see that like you know I can come up with things or even like Big Mox. He was like that dude freestyles for like days. Yes. And if it if it wasn't for who, he'd still be freestyling on this trip. Who said that to him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's seen it before. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get Johnny Cultured on this. Big Mox versus Osna. Oh, yeah? YouTube it. Bro. <laughs> that was some good YouTube shit. it. <laughs> that's Hawaiian history at this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That's the first thing I do when we're done. Yes. Frick. <laughs> that's crazy. But, yeah, it's, he was, like, one of the biggest inspirations. Even this guy. Just fucking, you guys are freestyling. It wasn't freestyling. You fucking just, like... It's insane just to think that, and like I was like, yeah. But then, yeah, uh, eventually, the music thing kind of just faded away because it's just like, you know, there's not really anywhere to go with it. We're still gonna do it, you know, mm-hmm. for fun, to put out stuff every now and then. But then, like, I don't know what exactly got me into making the skits, but that's when we started doing skits, or when I started making videos. When I moved to Y and I, just funny dumb skits. One thing I never did was local comedy. Because at the time, I saw so many people doing it. Yeah. And to me, at the moment, it seemed, I wouldn't say cliche, but just repetitive of, like, it's all the same things. Mm-hmm. It's the old talk mook for this. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Which is funny as hell. I do that now, too. But, like, it all felt the same. And then one day, I decided, like, you know what? I'm going to try and do the local stuff, but be a different, like, same concept, same approach, but something different and yeah. that's when the first thing i think i ever did that was like that was a city and county video boom fucking <laughs> exploded yeah because that's some real shit we were just talking about that the road work is crazy and the, the craziest thing was that like the the day a couple two days after i made that video they shut down the h3 <laughs> to fix like one thing and I had people like calling me like bro did you fucking tell the future or what bro like they shut the road down it's like you said i'm like and like from there the city and county videos and the lifeguard videos I always wanted to just make things different, and that's always was the mission for us doing videos. And then once we kind of got like a, a bigger following, it turned into let's be different, but let's be let's see how far we can go with this. Like mm-hmm. let's push the line and make people uncomfortable because 
there's so much clean comedy here. Yes. Clean comedy is not doesn't I can't Fuck. it does I'm, I don't know if I'm broken, <laughs> you know, or just trauma over the years or whatever <laughs> it is, but like I can't like there's something that's kind of that's funny, but like I won't like die laughing. Well, it's kind of boring, right? Like cuz you 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 can see what's going to happen before it even happens. Mm-hmm. Like you're just reading it like, "Oh, okay. This they're going to go there with this, you know." So like the one of the first ones that I thought was going to be like something that was controversial was the one I don't know if you ever saw it. It was me and James in front of the Capitol. Oh, not the Capitol, sorry, the palace. And the concept was he's looking at the palace, like, like admiring it, and I come up to him, and he's like, it's beautiful, isn't it? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, isn't it crazy what our people had to do for this place? I'm like, yeah. Wait, what's your last name? He's like, oh, or what's your name? Captain, Captain Cook. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, that was one of the first ones where it's like, <laughs> we tried to, like, make it, like an intricate thing, but then like I thought too at the same time, <clears throat> this could be something that in nowadays you could get fucking canceled and blasted for. Why though? Because people are mm, emotionally but you know sensitive, I, and I get it. But like what people don't understand is like, however you're putting it out there, like especially as a Hawaiian, like, bro, I was talking <clears throat> with my friend about this the other day. Trauma, um, trauma can get passed down via DNA. You know what I mean? So even if you've never lived through something, because your parents and grandparents and those before you have gone through something, it had all embedded in you. You know what I mean? So however you do to handle and deal with said traumas, brah, why, why, how are you going to get mad at somebody for that? Whatever it is. You know what I mean? That's why every time I see, like, um, Native Hawaiian stuff, I'm like, get it, brah, or get it, sis. You know what I mean? Like, what, whoever it is. Because like, a lot of people don't understand the traumas Hawaiian have gone through. And, and, and it's... It's deep. It is deep, bro. Hawaiians are getting killed. You know what I mean? I just learned yesterday for being Hawaiian, and that that's heavy. You know. So again, like I, I don't, I don't see the cancellation issue with it. If you don't like it, move on. Well, and that's the thing too. Over the time, as far as like the comedy stuff, I've come to the, the realization that like, oh fucking well. I mean, you know, like <laughs> we're still gonna do it either way. And like canceling, I don't really think that's a thing too much because you're still gonna have people that supports you it's not like how they cancel these celebrities and stuff where they can like blacklist them from things like i'm already kind of not really anybody so like who's gonna fuck me (laughs) (coughs) so watch your fucking auntie doesn't watch my videos anymore that's fine like your baby mama will though (laughs) (laughs) that's what i like the most about your stuff because you never tried to um get any form of endorsement or anything you weren't trying to like do anything or keep it at a certain level so that you could receive money for it or whatever the fuck it is you just did it how you felt. You know, I was always told that, too. They're like, bro, you know, you could, like, make money and, like, get people to, like, sponsor you and shit if you just tone it down. I'm like, what if I tone it down? It wouldn't be me. And then I'm, now I'm just, like I said before, I'm just in this category of everyone else doing the same, like, what the fuck? People say, like, frick in their things. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? Like, at that <laughs> point, you might as well just say it. You know what I mean? Like, frick. I like just, frick, though. Frick's kind of crazy. I heard this uh, white kid on an Instagram rap where he's like, frick. And I'm like... <laughs> It's kind of fire, dude. <laughs> These fuckers, bro. We was on the radio, <clears throat> and we were talking about license plates and customized license plates. Mm. And I wanted, I, I was just about to buy my new Forerunner, and I was like, fuck, I want Fricka on it. And Rella looked it up, and then we, while we were on air, and it was available. FR, I think 1CKA or whatever it is. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. As soon as I get home, I'm going to fucking do it. I get home. Hey, somebody was listening at the DMV. They took it all off. All Fucking forms of Fricka with a one, with an I, with an exclamation mark. All Frickas is gone. And I was like, oh, Fricka. What? <laughs> yeah, yes. Oh, my God. Fricka. God, it took Fricka as a swear word. I was so pissed. I was like, oh, shit. Wait, you gonna, you were going to buy a Forerunner? I bought one. And you work construction? Yeah. Yeah? And you're Hawaiian? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> it might be a little bit racist, dude. Why? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. We'll have somebody that watches this come up with a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Forerunner, Fricka. I'm trying to figure out the categories here. Construction. Forerunner, construction. Right, he's Hawaiian, bro. Yeah. You're basically Hawaiian. Well, I mean, I didn't so know you were Hawaiian. If we're going to go with specifics, uh, via my research, I am what they call or what people will call a Hawaiian subject. So if it comes down to. Um, it sounds like a. What is it? Don't be shy. Let it go. <laughs> Let it rip. Like a Hawaiian test subject is what I'm hearing when I hear no, that. Hawaiian subject is basically someone who is um, uh, allegiance to the Hawaiian kingdom. Oh. So back in the day when there were um, 
the Hawaiian kingdom was there and you were not Kanaka Maoli and you were living in the kingdom of Hawaii, uh, you were known as a Hawaiian subject. So when you abide by the laws and rules of the Hawaiian kingdom, you're a Hawaiian subject. So being somebody who um, will go to war for Hawaiians, you know, I am known as a Hawaiian subject. I'm not Kanaka Maoli, nor could I ever be. But fuck, I was growing up in the homestead, bro. Like, so I, didn't, I was Filipino to the fifth grade. If James was around back then and he supported it the way he would be a Howley Hawaiian subject. Technically, no. If he had paid, you know, if he had the same way, like we have a fucking social security mm-hmm. for Americans or whatever. If you were doing the same, like you had an address as in the Hawaiian kingdom, then you were a Hawaiian subject. That's what made you oh. a nationalist of the Hawaiian kingdom. Oh, shit. Yeah, so he wouldn't even be a Haole because he would just be a Hawaiian subject who's a white guy. He'd be one of those guys that fucking, that might have been entrusted by the kingdom and then turn around and stab him in the back. We don't know, you know? Like, we don't know James's character, but. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Cut that out. Is his last, is his last name Dole? No? Dole. It might as, it might as well be. <laughs> <laughs> No, but yeah, yeah. So that I'm not, I'm not Kanaka Moli at all. But I will, I will fight side by side for any. That's good movement. interesting. Yeah, I think we actually might have told me that before. Not the Hawaiian subject part, but that you were Hawaiian. But like at the end of the day, you're doing stuff for the island. So I mean, yeah, no matter cares. to me. I mean, I mean, it just is what it is, bro. Right. Like if fucking... you're Jewish and you come here and you're governor. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on, you fucker! Wait, 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 wait! Oh, I'm man. Jewish. A, B, I'm here 17 years, and I lived in Hawaii more than I lived anywhere else in my life. My kids were born here, and I would fight for Hawaii any day of the week, and I guarantee that I do more volunteer work and I donate more of my time and money than the vast majority of the others that live on this island. Oh, yeah, I was talking about our governor. Yeah, but did you, I understand. Did you, did you, He's did Jewish, you right? Green, no. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so you're good then. But you threw the so Jewish in there. Oh. You threw the Jewish in there. Oh. I had to jump in. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that wasn't the main part. That was just a fact. I don't even know if it's a fact. I just saw somebody the other day said that he was Jewish from New York. <laughs> he's not, bro. <laughs> he might not be. I, I can tell you this one. The, the fact that he's from New York and he's the governor, this is what pisses me off. I don't care what religion you follow. I don't fucking care if you like Jesus, Buddha, Allah. I don't fucking care. But the fact that you didn't grow up here and you don't know the school, you don't know the dynamics, you don't know, you don't know nothing about mm. here. But then you move from New York... And you become the governor. This is crazy to me. This is crazy to me. Mm. You know, I was ta- talking to uh, Brandon from the Hawaii Nation or Nation of Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. I was telling him like, you know how we're gonna win the election? You know who's never lost? People that pray to coup during times of war. And he was like, yeah, you should praise the coup. And I'm like, how do you even do that? Like, is there Fuck. a thing? There must be protocols, bro. You gotta get you. A, you gotta get you first of all a statue. The thing. And you right. better start fucking carrying that fucker around. Like, I was, I was talking to him about, isn't that kind of nuts, though? Like, everyone that had that in their thing, they always won their wars. Right? Yeah. Okay. Kamehameha. Yeah. And then the original one was, I think, I fuck, I forget. I was reading that, the, the ruling chiefs. Yeah. My fucking book is crazy, dog. Yeah. They were nuts, bro. I, I had always <laughs> thought, too. Like, I always thought, like, I was wondering who was going to be the MMA fighter that would walk to the ring with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, then at that point, too, like, it's kind of nuts. Unless you, like, actually, like... Well, if you go all out, right, then yeah. that means you could only fight on before, what, September, or what, November? Well, and don't you have to, like, sacrifice people? To praise cool? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Do what you got to do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think then what Makahiki, right, is right after. So, like, you got to be all peace. And, yeah, yeah, there's, like, a thing. There's a Time bunch of, of there's so much information in that book that I didn't know before. Fuck, I didn't know you sacrificed people to praise cool. Don't you? I it's don't the f- god of war. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, if not, then fuck. Like, why are you even fighting? Well, do you sacrifice them during war? See, there's a difference between killing an innocent and then or fighting and winning. I might just be assuming that you sacrifice people because it's so... <laughs> they do that. They used to do that all the time for, like, not not sacrifice people, but kill people. Mm-hmm. You ever read the thing about the, the chiefs where, like, if you walk in their shadow, they kill you? Oh, shit, no way. Or, like, if you, like... I think if you're going... You have to crawl, I think, if you're by them or whatever to go, like, past... And if you don't, like, crawl back, or if you don't crawl, they, like, kill you. 
Oh, I, did not I forget know which that. book it was exactly. I think it might have been the Antiquities book, but I was just like, what the fuck, bro? We're just killing people left and right. <laughs> did you sneeze? <laughs> Dead. Like, <laughs> savage times. It's bro. savage it's times. Savage and times. it's like, it's crazy because I feel like people don't talk about that that much. Or they try to just like, let's not talk about that part. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot, bro. You know, like in this generation of social media and uh, information, what, I, what was interesting was seeing people's, uh, you know, not liking Kamehameha the first because he had killed a lot of Hawaiians to unite Hawaii, and that's their angle of it, huh? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I definitely haven't said that on Kabaka's podcast or somewhere else. Oh, have you? I don't know. Oh, did he delete it? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was basically just uh, it was I was comparing. <laughs> I was saying something like along the lines of like, uh, what's the difference between Kamehameha doing that and the United States? And I mean, like a bunch of people were like, what kind of fucking Hawaiian is this? I'm just like, I get that they're two different things. But like, you know, he did kill a bunch of Hawaiians. And I mean, like at the end of the day, that's what unified the islands, I guess, and stopped the war, right? Between all the islands. So in a sense, I guess... Because what would happen if he didn't? They just keep fighting, right? Yeah. Well, in the in the grand scheme of things, too, right? Like with his deal with the 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 British or was it European or British? The same thing, huh? With the white. John Adams, <laughs> yeah, with the the Navy guys, <laughs> his whole deal was that they were gonna help Hawaii become its own country, right? Be rec- be a worldwide recognized nation. Right? And then that's what ended up happening, right? They ended up starting the Kingdom of Hawaii and then got the whole world to recognize Hawaii as its own nation. That's how, to this day, um, Hawaiians are still able to fight for sovereignty, right? Because technically, no annexation, no treaty. Mm. Yeah. So being an already recognized nation, that's courtesy of Kamehameha's getting everybody on the same page. And However he did it. It's King Kamehameha Day. Right? Today, let's go, right. King! Which, and what was his main lesson? You can win as long as you have a white man to be friend and guns. Well, that's the lesson I took away from it. <laughs> Wait, am I the white guy on the table? I don't know, he's out of the room, bro. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Please vote for me. Are you um, gonna say? Are you, are you gonna have these kind of quotes that the capital yeah, will win? Hell yeah! <laughs> like, king, happy King, uh, happy King of my Day, everyone. What did I say? <laughs> I don't fucking know. What. <laughs> Holy shit! But it's easy for me to go in and out of like the serious and the comedy stuff, and that's exactly what they're gonna get because. Uh, I was telling somebody, they're like, oh, what makes you fit for the job? Like, the government's basically a joke at this point. So, I'm a comedian. Like, this goes hand in hand. But in, in comedy, there is truth. You know, with good comedy. In good comedy, there's truth. And that's what I think um, a, lot of able, a lot of people were, like myself even, were able to translate that. Oh, shit, okay. He's serious about running. <coughs> oh, shit, this might actually work. You know what I mean? Because you've posed so many of the the stresses and problems that we've had, you obviously are living it, seeing it, and um, you're actually taking a, another step forward in trying to get to a point to fix these things. Um, now, granted, you do win this election. What's your first first course of action? <coughs> first, I'm going to look at the cameras during the press conference and be like, <laughs> one time for all the boys that supported boys. us. <laughs> yep. yeah. And... I think the main thing is just, so the whole thing that got me into this was when I was trying to pass the bill where it was uh, banning the foreign, foreign purchasing rate of land here. Mm-hmm. That's like the first time I ever got involved with anything politic wise on like a more than just a, I'm going to make fun of it level. Went to the Capitol, seeing how the process works when it comes to like publicly testifying for things and then seeing like how the process goes of the public hearings and then it's right you they read it and they decide on it then it goes to like the next committee and next committee and it's like a rotation it does and if it starts in the house it goes to the senate if it starts in the senate it goes to the house the whole thing then back i think for another reading before it finally right makes its way to the governor and then it's him to say yes or no Mm -hmm. um seeing how that all worked out kind of just or how it worked made me think like holy shit this is why everything is the way it is because the people that are in here are bringing up like you see the kimchi bill that just that they just passed no. it's like they made a kimchi day and during 
a time where Lahaina is still happening and it's like Hawaiians are still on the you know the the list waiting and all the shit that's been happening affordable it's it's possible to live here people are moving and these are the kind of bills that they're coming out with and these are bills that they're voting on and going sending reading and putting time and energy into getting passed are you serious right now or are you just fucking with us I wish it was a, a skit. No, are you, are, is he serious? It's a, it's a real what thing. What do you mean kimchi bill? It's a kimchi day. They they put a bill to make a day a kimchi day out of the... I forget what day it was. But they don't they, have nothing better saying. to do. That's that's what I'm saying. Well, probably to celebrate Korean culture in Hawaii. Or, right? well, that's what I'm saying. Like, in a in a, in a sense, I, I get it, right? It's a money move, you know what I mean? Right? But then at the same time, with all those other problems that are happening, it's just like, where... What, this? Out of everything else, it's this one. And it's too, it's too, like, the media doesn't ever really put out, like, traditional media doesn't talk about any of the legislation sessions, I feel like. They, like, introduce it in the beginning, then they have their, like, ceremony, and they show it. And, like, here and there, there's, like, if there's a controversial bill, they'll bring it up. But, like, I feel like the news doesn't really keep people, like, informed of, like, what's going on and stuff. But just things like that, seeing how the, like, the things work, all this crazy shit that they're fucking doing instead of, like, things that could be, you know, more beneficial for people. So... One of the main things that I'm running on is trying to keep Kaneohe, Mauna Willie, that's our district, keep it safe. Um, as far as crime statistics, I don't know how bad it is compared to the rest of the island or even what it is. It's like, I think it was like 100 property crimes per like year and maybe like 20 violent crimes. That's from the HVD website. I don't know how accurate that is or like, you know, there could be unreported crimes, stuff like that. But basically, just keeping Kaneohe safe, you know the island's getting more crazier, at least it seems like, from social media. Um, statistically speaking, the crime is going up. It just seems like a crazy jump because we don't usually have crime like that, right? Mm -hmm. Now you have one, two, three shootings, and it's up fucking 300%. Yeah. So that number alone makes it sound like it's crazy. But just the fact that you can see it now, things are starting to like shift. That's one of the things we're trying to do in um, Kaneohe. One of the things that I actually wanted to do was try to get uh, the track for Castle High School open back up to the public. Um, when they first re uh, renovated it, like, I forget how long ago that was, they decided that they were going to, like, keep it closed off to the public. But I feel like that would be a good place for, you know, there's a lot of elderly people in the neighborhood. And, I mean, the roads are packed with cars all the time now. So, like, it would be a good place to have, like, a one place that's, like, free. You don't have to, have to pay for the gym. You don't have to have a gym membership. And it's already been open to the public before, but something that, like, the community can go to and have, like, an area to be safe and, like, you know, work out. You bring your kids and stuff like that. That was one of the things we wanted to do. Um, one of the crazy things is I just read is that the guy I'm going against was one of the head. I think he either came up with the bill or is one of the sponsors of the no cash bail bill you ever hear about that it's where people with misdemeanors and i think class c felonies wouldn't have to pay bail they would just get booked and they'd let get let go as far as i can understand now i think for the most part that's what they did in california yeah and then like but it's like a broad it's a broad thing when you say that because there's a few i think i forget what exact crimes fall under class c felonies but i think like there's two like burglary and like theft yeah and which would to me kind of start falling into a line of like is this really a good idea but it doesn't matter because once they put the bill out i guess at the minute it got opposition he said oh never mind and he asked the governor to veto it so like you put all this work and this thought right you thought you had the idea and you wanted to push it forward and then right when it meets opposition right but like that's what i'm saying like if you truly do believe that what you were doing was the thing that you should have been doing in the first place then why let the opposition you know what i mean as yeah. as far as i know when you're a district representative you're trying to rep your constituents in your area mm -hmm. accurately and now if you ran it by those people and they wanted that then I, I guess, in a sense, public opposition from anywhere else shouldn't matter. So if he did do the work correctly for that, and it came to a point where he was like, oh, fuck, like somebody's saying it, and then he, he changed the whole thing. It's just like, that doesn't really make sense to me, because then mm. why put all that time and effort into something you're going to walk back on? Yeah, because bad PR, huh? It's yeah. what you're doing it for at the end of the day is some kind of PR or money stint. Well, then and that's the thing I, I learned, too. It's like a lot of people that are politicians have agendas. 
mm-hmm. or majority of the politicians have agendas. Really? Let's. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you see, like I knew, I kind of figured it, but then like when I met them and talked to them about how it works and figured it out, like oh, it's really just like there's no exaggeration. It's just like that, bro. It's stupid, it's, and it's it's like adult gang life. Like you know what I mean? You imagine like you cannot imagine you cannot tell somebody that that's your friend because they're in different gang. You know what I mean? Even though that's your friend. Like, you fuckers ate lunch together, but nah, nah, nah. No pictures, bro, because, you know, my set going to be pissed. You know what I mean? Like That's literally how it is. Fucking silly, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's what I was telling him earlier. It's like a, it's like school. It's like mm-hmm. a, it's like a kid, yeah, kindergarten. It's, it's just, oh, oh, you're on that team? Uh, and that's literally how some bills don't get voted on. Yeah. Or they'll turn it down because of the fact that as a Republican or a Democrat, they put it out in the opposite, which... Being a Republican here doesn't really do anything because there's the other 46 people that could just be like, ah, no. Yeah. Any one of those people, right, could have a vast majority against a bill a Republican will push. Did uh, Is Brenton Ava going to uh, support you? Uh, I, he's helped me out with my stuff. I don't know if he can directly endorse me. I don't know if, how that works, but he's been helping me. I've been talking to him about just, like, what he did because mm-hmm. I didn't realize – I don't know if the – the district line shifted because I don't think he was a senator. I think we had someone else last year or the other cycle, and now his section got like pushed into ours. Because mm. I actually know the Jarrett, the senator, of the other half of Kanye, I guess, and he lives like like up my road. Oh, okay. So like somewhere in between then and there is like this is not this is Brandon's right, and then this is Jarrett's. So yeah, he's been just kind of like. He, because he's kind of the reason why I basically was inspired. I was telling him about getting into this. Mm-hmm. My man came with no political experience, yeah. right, and got in. Yeah. He got in from grassroots, knocking on doors, going to the community, figuring out what needs to get done, and now he's there and he's trying to do what he's trying to do, right. So, for me, like. We have a few things that we want to try and get done, but, like, the main thing, because it's, like, a the last guy who ran against the person that I'm running against had, like, a 7,000 vote loss in a district where I think it was, like, 17,000, maybe 15,000 registered voters. Oh, shit. And our mm. Republic, you know how it is in Hawaii. No one yeah. votes for Republicans. Yeah. And this is my message for people. It's, like... There's, you have to, you can't just, you can't run independent. I would love to run as an independent. Mm-hmm. That doesn't fly here. That doesn't fly anywhere. Mm-hmm. You're independent. No one votes for you. But as far as like my political beliefs, I feel like I'm more n- like neutral in the middle for most things, but then I lean to the right. So mm-hmm. if I were to pick a side, right, it's not going to be the Democrat side. Also, a lot of the people that are in the you know, House of Representatives, the Senate, the governor, almost everybody, it's all Democrats here. And I feel like that one party, as much as party doesn't matter, it's just hard not to say that it's a party thing because, like, what Republicans can we blame for the way, it's, like, the laws that are coming, right, the bills that are being passed? Yeah. What Republicans can we blame? A Republican can't even put a bill out without it getting shot down in the first reading just because of that alone. Yeah. I think you know? that's, that's your main angle. And, you know, 50 years or 70 years, they're, uh, they're controlling, right, Democrats. So you just you just up for change. It doesn't matter if it's Democrats, if it's Republicans. You just want change. Right now, it's it's not the way you want it. You want it better. Mm-hmm. You're here for change. And you know, um, I just wanted you to say, I just f- for for full transparency, you know, um, Steezy was asking me a um, long time ago. Let, let's bring Brock Cruz, and I'm like, nah, he was on the the, the other podcast. He was on. The, <laughs> <laughs> the other podcast. I don't. I don't want to bring every. You know. I don't want to have that every podcast we have the same people. It's stupid. You know. We're gonna talk about the same topics and same things, same people. It, I want to be fresh. I want to be new. You know. But once I saw you actually putting your name where your mouth is. Once I realized you're not just making fun of everybody and you're comedian. You're actually making fun of everybody, but you're actually gonna take action. I told him, Yo, hit him up. Hit him up. Let's talk to this guy. Because now he actually puts his name where his mouth is. Now he's not just like yapping, nah, 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 nah. this is shitty, this is shitty, this is shitty. He actually steps up and he wants to create a change. 
you creating a change will inspire people. Watching you, watching this, watching you even try. Forget about you succeeding because you're going up against giants. And if you, and if you win, God bless you. But if you're not, please know that you're doing something amazing for the people of Hawaii, for us, for all the young people that shows that just complaining isn't enough. If you complain and you have an opinion, fight for your opinion. Fight for your right. Fight to make a change. And you going and actually following your higher calling, you know, this is why I, you know, I said, fuck, this guy's for real. I appreciate you, bro. And I also feel the same. People need to stop bringing the same people on podcasts. It's like, <laughs> what, what, what new thing are we going to hear now that you've been on the fifth podcast? Like, What's you know what I mean? What's changed in the last fucking couple of weeks? <laughs> so I fucking I understand that completely. But yeah, I mean, that's my thing too. It's like people. There's a lot of people that think a lot of different ways about this. At the end of the day, I really don't fucking. At the, it's the same thing with the comedy. Like you're gonna have your opinions. I'm still gonna do this. A lot of people still can't even tell. Like is this just a elaborate skit? And I, I'll give it to them. It does seem like it could be just a big one long elaborate skit, but. That ballot was real. The papers that I signed were real. Yeah. This is real. And, like, I got people like Thaddeus. You know, Thad, Thad? Thad, yes. My boy says, I do not do politics at all. But I will support you in this. Yeah. I got people that don't. That's my whole thing. It's like, I'm getting the people that don't have representation. I was telling him, the younger, you know, the, the generation that doesn't vote, the Hawaiians that don't vote. All right. I know there's a lot of them in our district. Hi. Yeah. Let me be your voice. Yeah, I know I've said a lot of stupid, dumb things. That's comedy. Yeah, that's a whole, And I probably will say more dumb things eventually, yeah. right? <laughs> but like I said, I know how to, ch I know when to be what, at where, you know what I mean? There's a certain time, a certain place for everything. Yeah. This is, I, I, my main thing, I'm not trying to turn it into a slogan. I'm just kind of using it as my thing. It's like, you've had, a, I've had a chance to make you laugh. Now let me make you proud, you know? Woo! <laughs> Let's, let's chills. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> I need a shirt like that. that. Yes. <laughs> but like I, I really mean that too. And I'm like, I'm trying my best to learn as much as I can outside of being in office about being in office. Because like mm -hmm. one person made a good point. It's like, well, we're paying you to learn. I'm like, well, you're paying these guys in the office to do shit. And they're not doing anything. So mm -hmm. now you have somebody that's actually wanting to. And another joke uh, that I came up with was something like, uh, I don't have. I'm not, I don't have a lot in common with pol politicians. I don't have political experience, and you're not going to see me fighting corruption charges in 10 years down the line. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I, yeah, you know, and it's just, like, at the end of the day, it's just, and then, like, people, the people are starting to believe in me. Like, Thaddeus is a good example. Like, call me. And like, it's like, bro, you know, I don't, but you seem like you got, like, you're going. And I'm like, yeah. And it's like, that helps me feel better about, like, all right, like, I'm not just some random yapper. Yeah. Just talking about we're going to do this and that. Um, we're actually trying to do stuff. And then I totally forgot the main question you asked was the first thing that we were going to do when we got in. I yes. totally it's went into a whole history lesson about. But, you know, what I liked during that whole uh, past <laughs> however long we just were talking <laughs> was that you showed uh, you showed your passion. You also showed your research. Like, And these are the things that, like, are important. These are the things that. I feel are more important than uh, anybody who has a name, somebody who's actively in it, trying to see what's going on, what's the problems, trying to fix it. Like, you've taught us a lot over the past 20 minutes that I had no idea what was going on out there. Yeah. Uh, one of the other ones, one of the main things that is an issue in Kanye and probably around the whole entire fucking island, honestly, is potholes. And I don't know what the specific details that go into it so mm -hmm. i was telling thaddeus like we we might think like ah you fuck just fix the potholes like how hard is that but there might be a whole entire like there's got to be more to it right you know, being at work in construction now yeah right um, so uh -huh. they probably <laughs> have to bring out you know safety systems they gotta you know <laughs> safety out of probably like quarter mile half mile you know hire them out that way you can bring in the and how how long are you guys gonna be for that? Probably about five six years. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit! Ten million. That's, that's accurate. But you know what? It's funny that you mentioned that because I just heard from one of the maintenance guys at the at the one of the hotels that I'm uh, working with. He said that they had a pothole where pedestrian um, started to. Uh, 
you know, trip and fall. And it became a, a trip hazard. It became super deep. It's right on the crosswalk, right? So it got deeper and deeper with the years, and they applied to get it fixed. They're waiting already 11 months to get a permit to fix 18 inches, 18 inches mm -hmm. of a pothole. 18 inches, they wait 11 months to fix, to just fill it in. Can you, I can, mean, is there things you can do outside of, I don't know if there's laws against this. This is maybe something you might look into. Like, say you get community members that want to just, you know, have a little extra money, donate, and buy the fucking gravel, and just do it. It's not even about that. That you sounds I mean? illegal. <laughs> is it? Like, you know I, what I mean? Like, I don't think. Imagine some random citizen, concerned citizen, went over there, fucking patted the pothole with some gravel. Okay, so see, something similar but not the same is there's a, a like a river. I don't know the word I'm looking for right now. Like a canal that's overgrown by Thaddeus' house in Kanyoi, where the entire community was like, we can just go in and cut it. It's like, nope. That's a liability. Why? If because nobody, it's a liability. That's the word, liability. But what if nobody... Everything is based on fucking liability. What if nobody knows? Then it's illegal. Then and you're then, committing a crime. And But what if you don't <laughs> get caught? Chances then it's are... it's not a crime. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, is like, that... Is that how you think? Right? No, but so I'm saying, you like, and me, imagine there's a fucking positive vigilante <laughs> is what I'm saying. Like, somebody oh. who is doing the right thing. Well, Steezy's trying to, to do the rule right thing. life with common sense, but he doesn't understand that common sense yeah. isn't common. We're not talking about common sense. Yeah, you're right. Put the fucking gravel, straighten it out so nobody's going to trip. You're right. Yes. like. But for them, it's like, are you certified? Do you have insurance? They don't got to know. The, 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 I the understand, end of the day, but by the, the end, end of the day, day... The problems needs to be solved. However, it gets it solved. But it's, but it's a crosswalk and like a, on a main road. How are you not going to get caught filling that? Fucking doom in the middle of the night. Hey, you know At what? At 3 a.m. on HGH? Hey, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then hike staring the head right after. <laughs> but could you... Okay, imagine this. It's the same concept as, um, as Mayor Blangiardi, who had talked in Wine Eye. Right and said, you know what? Do it yourself. Police yourselves. Come on. Jesus okay Christ. then. Right. That's the best idea because HPD shorthanded. I get it. There's shit going on. You want to help the community. Do it yourself. Okay. Same concept you take to fixing roads. You know what I mean? Or if if, if it's a small issue like that one by your friend's place, you know. If you want me to um, just say my opinion. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, to that, I was embarrassed. By what? I by him? Rick Blanchard. Dude. Yeah, that was offensive as fuck. Uh, that was like, the stupidest thing. You I already go said. there. You already sit with the community. Thank you for your time. This is the best that you can come up with? Just apologize. Say we're shorthanded. Say you're going to do the best you can. Say that you're going to try to get more funding. Tr say that you're going to try to arrange a fundraiser and you're going to create some more uh, support. Or help organize say it. Say that you case. that you guys need to help yourself and say it with that fucking condescending. Dude, that tone. That tone was fucking bad. Are you fucking for real mm. with the? <laughs> don't you help you? What the fuck? Who the fuck? Where you live? Exactly. Where you live? Let's. I want you to live for two months out there and then talk to me. See? Don't go back to fucking Kahala to your $3 million fucking uh, <laughs> mansion and talk to me about Wainai. I want you to live for two months in Wainai and then make your decision. Don't fucking make decision being so remote. Or if you do say to handle it yourself, don't get mad when people start getting fucking yeah. shot and beat up left and right. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? You don't even give people the, you don't give people the tools to take care of. You know I, well, I mean? We got I, them tools. I think he's anti-gun, too, so it's like, which one are you, bro? Like, you want us to defend ourselves? Yeah, or like, fucking, <laughs> like, you got to pick a stance, bro. But yeah, okay. that, dude, that was bad. That was See, bad. and even that's uncancelable. <laughs> like, nobody's canceling the mayor. You know what I mean? They're afraid. You're going to cancel a comedian. But honestly, that moment, I was like... Cringing, was dude. Like, that was uh, so. And with social media, it's real. Oh, now everybody's seen that. But it's crazy but, too, cause like no one, no if they knew that Josh Green was under Ige, yeah, right. And somehow this guy still got like well, that, fucking all those votes. This is something I gotta, I gotta make sure you you understand, like because even I didn't understand it at first until um, I started doing like morning show radio and everything, brah. Not a large chunk of the island is on social media. 
like and even then like they're not on as consistently or as um as hip to anything as we well, are. Well, it's the it's the ages, right? No, it's not even ages. Like this guy's my age. Like I just talked to one guy who just from my job site. They just followed me. You know what I mean? That like saw one random video, told his wife, "Oh, he was nominated for an award." He saw a video of me doing a birthday shout out at Wet and Wild on the screen. I'm you see what I'm saying? Like it's hit. you gotta imagine. There's lots of people. Even though, like, you, you'll see the, the statistics on Instagram, TikToks, and Facebook, there is still a large, vast chunk of people that don't see any of that. They will probably watch the news occasionally. They'll listen to the radio occasionally. And that's where they get their information from. And they'll go about, they'll go about their lives. A lot of them don't even like social media. They think it's fucking the devil, you know? So even though we see, like, a lot of traction on a lot of things like certain posts like or traditional news won't show that yeah they basically won't right no. so then or, or and they'll try i think i've seen i think that's how i seen it was on traditional news really but yeah but even then like it's not um a lot of people are just ingesting information take their two cents about it oh that was stupid and go about their mm-hmm. day they don't they don't care about the community but they're just living their lives they're kind of like cogs you know and um and that's that's what you we hear that read. if you don't have social media and you're not watching this, you're a cog. Cog. But you won't <laughs> see this because you read the newspaper and watch KITV. It's fine. And if your boyfriend is a cog, then you're a cog sucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, like you, the people, a lot of people. Happy just, Pride Month. Anyway, a lot of people <laughs> are just going about their days. Right. And that's this is why I, I you know, when I text you on it to make sure it's very important that you knock on doors because. You do have a lot of support online. A lot of us do enjoy what you do. We believe in you. Um, but there's also a lot of people who aren't, aren't even on social media yeah. platforms. And you're talking about people my age. You're talking about kupunas who are just like, I met a kupuna in Kaneohe. Uh, I sat down with her for an hour. I'm not that old, bro. What do you mean? You were talking about me, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, yeah. we're about the same age. So, <laughs> look, you got fucking more hair than me, bro. What is that the, That's not what? hard, bro. This is young boy hair right Oh, here. my God. <laughs> Should we freestyle? <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, there's a lot of people who are no, quite, yeah. quite hip to what you're doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, this is why I thought it was important that you knock on doors and meet people in the community. Let them know your heart. and The door knocking thing is so, like, intense, too, for me. Because, like, I've done, I've been on stages, like, a million times. But it's so, like... I feel like with the way things are nowadays, everybody hears about the fucking, oh, somebody got shot, robbed, mugged. Yeah. And it's so it's like, it's hard. So I put the Aloha shirt on, the jeans, I fucking have a haircut. I try to look as, like, you know, presentable as possible to people. Yeah. So far, it's been good. Um, the only bad time I've had was this one guy I knocked on. He's like, oh, no, what, what part are you with? I was like, Republican. He's like, yeah, that's a bad word. And he was, yeah. I was like, hey. That's fine too. Good to know, you know what I mean. As like, long as you're not shooting me off of your lawn, like. Yeah. But then Democrats don't believe in guns anyway, so. so you're okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> actually, last week someone came by my house in, um, and he's his last name is Choi, and uh, he had like a big hat on and Aloha shirt, and he's like, you know, walking around the, you know, the neighborhood, and I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? What? What? <laughs> and he's like, oh, I'm just trying to get elected. I'm here for the state. I'm like, oh, well, what you got? Democrat. He's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I don't like listening. <laughs> <laughs> but well, then I ended up, I ended up listening, and he was a good guy, and yeah. I'm probably gonna vote for him. Oh, yeah, see, my, you gave him yeah. a lot of joy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, only because he was willing to listen to my yapping. Yeah. And, and and me saying, like, dude, what you guys doing is not good. And he said, yeah, they're all for the corporations. And he's actually a lawyer, an attorney that represents the small person against the corporation. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, you you got me on this one. And sometimes that's all it takes. You know what I mean? And yeah. here, some people want to be heard, you know? And some people want to feel significant. That's basically, I was told that when you do door knocking, it's actually not supposed to be too much of, like, feedback you because you it's just because of the amount of places you need to be in this two-month period where you want to try to keep it like as minimal as possible but then my thinking too is like yeah if somebody wants to talk like sit there and listen to them because then that could be all you need to go oh wow that guy actually took time to listen to me i'm voting for him or or, you know how hawaii is like big families you know what i mean like Mm -hmm. you might come across auntie who is her whole entire uh political um 
representation for Ohana, and she might just get the whole family on it. Shout out to Keiki Lani Ho. You guys know her? Yeah, she yeah, was yeah. On. yeah, she was actually the one that helped me get all my signatures that I needed at the end. Her whole family is in Kanye. I forgot. She actually went to school with my sister. But she, like, the last, the day before, was calling all her sisters, her mom, everyone. And I was, like, driving around Kanye, pulling up, oh, what's up, Andy? Oh, I know you from social media. I'm like, yeah, it's me. <laughs> yeah, can you sign this? Then there's one, Annie tried to drill me. She's like, well, so why are you running? And I'm like, I think it's just time for a change and Hawaiian's representation. She's like, all right, all right. I'm like, that's all I needed to say, See my boy. I mean? <laughs> See what I mean? But yeah, um, and it, there was actually a time in Mono Willy where we knocked on the door and this guy was talking for like like 10 minutes. And I was like, what do you, it's funny because you know Jill Takuda is? She's like a, the U.S. rep. Yeah. And so I go, I'm like, what are some problems in your district that like you could think of that we could fix? And he's like, Jill Takuda. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> she doesn't have anything to do but like he started like he's like ranting and I'm like oh okay which is funny because she actually lives in our neighborhood oh shit well, I think she's friends with my mom actually sorry auntie See, people <laughs> sorry auntie <laughs> everybody got their thing but you gotta play the game man you know well and that's what my, my main thing is like as much as it comes down to the party affiliation shit let's not do it that way like don't look yeah. at me and be like yo fuck you because you're a republican say fuck you because you don't like the things that I want to try and push for or like you don't like me as a person yeah. fine that's cool yeah. but don't just disregard it just because of that fact just yeah. like that. that's just like how I try not to say like oh it's all the democrats fault because they're all Democrats, but, like, even I heard recently that there's a lot of people with, like, more Republican-leaning things, but because you, that you live here, they run as Democrats, because yeah, that's how you get in. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a silly little game, you know? Right. It's, it's really... even our boy Cedric Gates, who was here on the podcast. Oh, yeah. Cedric! He... Shout out to Cedric Gates, the one and only. Should Stop I call... stealing his fucking posters. Should I fuck. call him? Um, he, Did he, we do that on here? He, <laughs> actually, he actually ran as a nonpartisan. Yep. Right. The yep. first time. Yep. And he realized it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So he ran as a Democrat. And guess what? Just like that. Got, I've actually in. talked to him a couple of times. He's super chill. Yeah. Super good super guy. Well, again, his, his heart's in the right place. At the yes. end of the day, he wants to help yes. our, our community. You know, yes. he's always been about it. Doing for Wana. Doing for Wana. <laughs> yeah. But you can see he cares. You can see, like, he, he really might... He, when you sit with someone and you talk to him, you can really see if he cares or if he's just playing a game. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cedric Gates really cares. And for him, he said, dude, I don't, I don't mind. I just want to be in office to care for my people. Well, the best if part it, is, too, he's from the trenches. Like, he's from his community. You know yeah. what I mean? Same as you, right? Like, you've yeah. been, you've seen and grown and know your community better than a lot of people who represent their communities. Yeah. You know? But I think... And, and, you know, I don't want to take us too much back, but um, just in regards to, you know, rap and hip hop and stuff like that, you know, protesting in general in the state isn't really, um, they don't like it. So, for example, Puna Hele, mm -hmm. who is an amazing rapper, but he protests. Mm. He talks about occupation. He talks about colonialism. He talks about... Don't join the military. Don't <laughs> yeah. join the military. The war is in Hawaii. Don't join the... I love Punahela, yeah. So Punahela is a fucking G, right? But he doesn't get the right recognition, right? So all the ones that are going against what is already happening, whether it's a Republican going against Democrats, if you go against what is happening, mm. immediately people are shocked. Whether it's in rap, whether it's in the, in, you know, in the state capital, it doesn't matter. You go against what's going on, people are like, oh, my God. Now, if you think about it and you go back to the music portion of it, reggae is like, I love you, whiskey, smoking weed, you know, just chilling, having a good time. Hey, everybody wants to have a good time. But once you start to protest, once you actually have a meaning uh, an idea, a mission. Now people need to do something about it. And then people are retracting back. And this why when people like yourself going as a Republican, immediately all the Democrats are, oh, he's a Republican. He wants to make change. They, they, they get uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. But this is exactly what we want. We want change because we don't like the way it is already. And it's been already like that for 50 or 70 years. 
we want to change. And I think only young people that are not willing to go along with what is already existing and don't want to feed into that circle mm -hmm. can make the actual change. If it's not for us, if it's not for us people actually putting it out there, it's not going to happen. It's going to continue to be the same fucking same cycles, same circles, same people, same, you know. It's just not going to change. That's why what you're doing is so appreciated. That's why we're so grateful to have someone that actually go and do that. And that's why I'm so appreciative of Cedric Gates. I don't care if you run as a fucking um, Democrat because I know your heart is in the right place. So I don't fucking care. I think your affiliation shouldn't matter as much as your intention. Intention, Ooh. if you're willing to make change. You know what I mean? And that's like my thing too is like I know I'm <clears throat> seem hard-headed from the comedy and all that but like i'll sit down if i get in right i'll sit down with democrats i have no problem with you being a democrat if you have a bill that's sensible and the constituents want this okay let's pass it i'm not going to be one of those dickheads that are like yeah. oh you're no uh, ole, <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean like that seems backwards and yeah. that seems like anti-people at that point yeah. you're just being and petty you're, you're not doing your job at that point you're not representing, representing your, pe your people yeah, yeah. you know um, so, how are you going to fix 24 Fitness Kanyo if you get elected? Close it. <laughs> <laughs> We're shutting it down, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. We're done. We're done. <laughs> nah. once, they, <clears throat> once they open up that other that Planet Fitness, people are going to switch over and hopefully it'll even out and it'll be more empty because Did right now, that's what I was told. Somebody's like, bro, from Kanyo to Kailua, the fucking Kahuku, that's the gym. And I'm like, oh, that makes sense of why everybody and their auntie and their uncle and their child and their alleged child, <laughs> all that just popping up at the gym because it's like there's nowhere else. It's fucking Hama Central, though, bro. That, bro, some fucking big guys there. They're on the gear, though. <laughs> the gear. The gear. <laughs> I read that term on Reddit, bro. I started saying that around the gym, like, what, gear up, bro? Yeah. <laughs> But as you can tell, I don't use steroids. So. Oh, on that. Obviously. Well, <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's every night, though. Yeah. That's how you get built like this. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hit the HGH, bro. Oh, my God. So, the, there's an incident. I, did you get any uh, involvement with the incident with the Keiki and uh, Mr. Hulk? What? The incident with all the Keiki and Mr. Hulk. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't see that whole thing? What are you talking about? The um the bodybuilder I don't know if he was security or not and then he got like um he was he's fighting all the kids I never seen that that happened did you guys what the fuck am I living in like a, a alternate universe yeah what is your algorithm giving am I you? not to talk about this is this like God giving me a sign right now no your algorithm is giving you all kind of no bad there was shit. the one right all the kids that was hanging out in at Twenty Four Fitness and then um ended up scrapping one of the security guys and it was all like jumping him in Kanyoa or where was that. In Kanyoi at the mall by 24s. But the mall? Win Winter City is Winter City is where 24 hour fitness yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so there's right by like Foodland sign, I think. They kept fucking loitering or something and they was harassing people and Oh, two months ago, something like this? Was that two it must have been like Damn this fucking with you, I saw it. You fucking <laughs> <come> <laughs> 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 I'm not trying to get into all that. I'm super cool fucking with Hulk. He's super nice. <laughs> well, he's a good guy. Well, yeah, that's okay, no. He's a good guy. I'm but like, then fucking... like <laughs> <laughs> it, it was a very... I wasn't trying to talk about this, but we can talk about it. No, he's super chill. Um, I heard all the kids are just acting stupid, but like, so was I when I was fucking in Castle. Like, we're, I mean, I don't know what exactly they were doing because the generations are getting a little more nuts nowadays. But when we used to hang out, we, yeah, we'd loiter, but like, fuck so does every other kid from castle yeah but i guess they were like i heard stories but like who the fuck even knows because everyone's just saying one thing or the other now mm -hmm. that the kids were like harassing Kupuna people in that, the yeah. thing and then that's why they were like in the way it was but like where the video shows it all it shows is them going up and up like standing toe-to-toe -to -toe at that point but you know from there i gather i assume that like you know, the parents all get involved in hui up, which is something I, I really encourage, you know what I mean? Like, we we, um, we disconnect as parents. We don't really, like... I, growing up where I grew up, 
we grew up in a very small, tight knit community. So we fucking like our parents and everybody knew everybody's business. You know, one kid was fucking up, somebody would call their parent or whatever, and everybody would get involved with each other's business. I'm assuming that's what happened after this because everything got resolved really quickly and it didn't escalate, which is something that was really beautiful to me. You know, that's why I wanted to bring it up because I was like, yeah, it was a nice little moment in time. It was a little hot headed or whatever, but I'm assuming <coughs> the community all got together and started to dissect the situation and, you know, hope on upon it, you know? I don't know. That's why I wanted to know how it. If you knew anything and how it ended uh, up, like. he works security still over there, I think, and I see him at the gym, so yeah. I guess it's all good. I mean, kids are fucking dumb. I was dumb when I was in high school, yeah. so was probably almost everybody else, unless you weren't. That's probably because you went to uh, one of those private schools, but then you do, you don't hang out and loiter; you just do drugs, <laughs> yeah. right? So that's a whole that's a whole different thing. Of, <laughs> yeah. A whole set of problems are like brackets to these problems. So. <laughs> you can afford the hard shit. Bro. Yeah, you know. <laughs> ah, that's classic. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, like, yeah, it doesn't. It didn't seem like anything really like escalated so, out yeah, of it. Which so is good. You know, that's what I mean? great because, like, I think everybody kind of understood that whatever happened was happened. You know yeah. what I mean? They kind of just let's just move forward and like learn from it instead of like sit here and try to go over details and fucking sit on that forever so yeah 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 but that's what i'm saying like every time that i've talked to him you have people in the comments yapping but you have that on everything mm -hmm. but like Always. it's fine every time i see him he's fucking super nice you know he's been yeah. nice he's been you know in that, the community in as the well. community and yeah so it's just like that's one of those things right like fucking and that's one of the things i wish like something from back in the day that i saw you know what i mean like i've seen like kids get slapped from other people's parents for doing stupid shit and you know, I, you know again nowadays people get very sensitive about it but i felt like it it works if you all understand the same thing you know i got in trouble from all kind of people bro you heard it here first it's okay to hit your kids <laughs> i didn't say that he right. didn't say that it depends if, if if some other parent would smack my kid <clears throat> well i if, would go to jail if your kid was what if your kid was stealing from them then they would need to explain to them that ceiling is not okay and they shouldn't take it. But touching them? Mm, see, it's a different, different Maybe thing. Maybe it's like, a boy. I have two girls. Yeah. If it's a boy, I'm going to smack him around. Hey, yo, you learned your lesson, you fucker. You deserve that. You're lucky it wasn't me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't steal. Put you in the fucking ground. You know, yeah. I don't know. This is just the things I grew up seeing. You I know? can see that. Well, I don't have, I don't have a boy, so yeah. I can't really relate. But and your children wouldn't steal, you know? They wouldn't. Yeah. They're hard workers. I took him to work for the past two weeks, but I go to work. Doing construction? Not. They serve coffee and clean tables. Oh, no. Nah. Freak. Let's go. Yeah. Isn't that like I saw us now over law? here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh. They volunteering, you fucker. <laughs> oh, fuck. Volunteering. Hey, fuck it. I was just kidding, bro. No, I saw Austin, like, you know, homeschooling. <laughs> I'm like, I got inspired, bro. Yes. I got inspired, bro. Bring him in. Yes. Let him, you know, work hard. <coughs> clean tables. Clean the fucking plates. I let him clean the most disgusting stuff, you know. That's good. That gives him, you know, fearlessness, you know. Yeah. When it comes time for a goal. All the rubbish that gets stuck in the sink. Hey, hey, babe, come clean, clean the. Uh, let's yeah. go. Yeah. I build up their, you know, I build them up. They get they get hard this way. Yeah, because well. life is fucking hard, bro. Yeah, and they will need to do it anyways. Yeah. So at least now they do it at our at dad's business rather than doing it somewhere else. So next time if they're gonna go look for a job, they're gonna be like best employees ever. Yeah. Or they're going to know the jobs already and be like, oh, we got to clean that shit. Let me go convince somebody right now real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's a part of Someone the job else. set. Yeah, let me see who I can convince. <laughs> hey, it's important for us to show the kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. You, ha you have kids, huh? Baby? Oh, uh, yeah. He just turned two. That guy's like fucking three feet tall. Fucking baby he speaks bang three up. different languages. <laughs> he fucking hits hard. I don't know. He eats fucking like a bra. That guy fucking the other day, he's oh, not hungry. And then Jazz puts his hot dog and his rice down. Probably turn my. I'm like, bro. bro your baby's oh, a beast. You eat it, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, but he's like a 16 year old. Basically, he has the attitude of one, the appetite of one. Uh, yeah, but you ever hear that song Million Dollar Baby that's been playing all the time? Yeah. That's going to be him. 
He's gonna be a million dollar baby. Oh, hopefully, yeah? I mean, look at that guy, bro. Yeah. He's like in like the 99th percentile of like his size. Hopefully. Yeah, bro. Just be, please be athletic so we can put you. In. So It'll be like Tua's uh, story. He'll be on a thing one day like, yeah, my dad used to fucking hit me. <laughs> <laughs> he said his fu- his fucking brother Cristales was on a podcast. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fucking hit your kids, Good dog. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm on five star athlete. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Also, he's district a... exception, Kuhuku. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a choice, mm-hmm. yeah, kids, football superstar. Okay. You're living in Kanye. Do you let him be a star at Castle or do you give him a private school? What would make you think that he would be a star at Castle? Because you live in com- co- the community. Have you seen our team? Not sure, but say, <laughs> let's just say, oh, sorry. your kid's We're, fucking animal. Right. Right? Do you keep them in the neighborhood, or do you send them to a private school? Do let's, I, say, let's say they gave him a scholarship. Let's oh. say they gave him a scholarship. Be like, yeah, you know what? You're the best running back we've ever seen. Of course Come play for St. Louis, or do you keep them in the neighborhood? Why would he not go to St. Louis? Why would I not give my child the best opportunity to be? I mean, if that's what he wants to do, at the end of the day, if this guy, like, I always tell myself, like, if you don't play football, I didn't play football, I played baseball. If you don't play football, you don't want to be a sports, I don't give a fuck, you know? So, I mean, like, if it got to a point and he was like, yo, I want to I wanna play football, you think he's going to go anywhere at Castle High School? We haven't, we win one game every 10 years, But what bro. if you get the boys, you know, he's like, fuck, this is my crew, though. Did you hear what I said about his future? <laughs> and our future, Cristal. Our future. <laughs> yeah, dude. You ever, you ever hear about, oh, you remember that fucking superstar from Castle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brock Cruz, bro. Let's go. Listen, if they don't fucking vote me in, someone needs to fire that coaching staff and put me in that shit. Ooh. When I was in Wyanite, they fired their coach. I didn't have much coaching experience at the time. I didn't even play football, but my friend played quarterback for Castle. He was good. Mm-hmm. And then he got a high ankle sprain one time, and then he never played again. But he was super good. I still watch his highlights sometimes, and I'll send him videos. I'm like, bro, you were fucking good, bro. And what happened? You went to Castle, and then it all fell apart. <laughs> because guess where he used to go to? St. Louis. Guess what happened? Uh, Bye. Shit. Or one of those private schools. Yeah. He got kicked out of a lot of schools. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, I mean, like, it just depends on the coaching, too, because, like, the, I, f- I hear from, let's just say that the coaching staff in Castle is not doing a great job, mm-hmm. and that's from a lot of different people, but, I mean, like, would you, if your kid was that kid, right, that had that future, you're going to trust mm-hmm. these nobody coaches to, you know what I mean, like, to yeah. get him somewhere, but if you had, like, a scholarship offer, that's no doubt, but at the end of the day, it comes down to what the kid wants to do, you know? Yeah. If he's like, fuck football, I'm gay, then... Do what you gotta do, bro. I'm gay, man. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Not to say that football isn't gay-friendly. It's actually very gay. Hut, 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 hut. (laughs) (laughs) You ruined it. Oh, my God. I can't unsee it. It's like the Jalen Hurts quarterback sneak guy. He's like, mm, <laughs> smack that ball. You go straight down the middle. <laughs> but, yeah. You know, uh, as long as I, – I've never wanted to be, like, that parent that fucking forces, like, oh, I want – you know, this is what I want for you. Like, whatever you want to do, though, as long as it's not fucking up. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Doing stupid shit. Do you think when you were as a kid you would be into politics? Bro, hell no. I don't even know what the fuck I would have – I would never have seen myself – even at this point, even with the, as far as, like, content stuff, too, like, mm-hmm. I never, it just, the creative stuff went into a, a route, and I kind of just went with it, and it went here, and then, you know, like, six months ago, I probably wouldn't have even paid attention to any of this kind of stuff, or maybe a few months before that, and then, as soon as I did, it caught my interest, and then, like, the thing for me is, like, I'm always talking about Kanye dog, yeah. Kanye dog, and I'm like, what, this could be the exact way to like represent my community but like actually you know what i mean like oh there's that guy from kanye that makes the funny videos all right there's a guy from kanye that fucking did his shit fought the system got in became a part of the system and hopefully right learn the fucking things and started to make for towards changes it's just like i think at the end of the day there needs to be more than just me though like diamond's there already right you guys saw the diamond garcia is there always there we need more people 
not necessarily Republicans, Democrats, just sensible people that want to do good by their people. Um, I feel like Hawaiians are un- unrepresented, unrepresented in the government. I mean, mm-hmm. there's Hawaiians in there, but how many things are we pushing for that? You know, Kuhio was a Republican. Isn't that crazy? Diamond Garcia told us that yeah. he was uh, he was on the Senate, right, or something. But then uh, Leomana had given us some uh, insight on it, saying that yeah, he was on there, but he didn't have like a an interest of he was, he didn't have the power to move anything. Because he was yeah. like a, it was like a non non voting something, right? Yeah, some sort. You of know, thing. I... shout out to Leomana Turalde. Yeah. We love you, bro. Is he <laughs> not? Is he? No, I'm just doing that. <laughs> We go claim Leo Mana right now. Dude, I was I was <laughs> reading I was reading about Kuhio, dude. He fucking used to scrap. No way. Did you read that? Yeah, I was reading about him. It's like they they said uh, uh the prince with the hands or something like that. There's like a yeah. nickname in the whole oh, advertiser. The prince with the hands. Because like a barber was like being racist because he was brown, right? And yeah. I was like now they're racist. Like a barber was being racist and he like fucking tossed him out in the hallway and was gonna lick him and like it fuck. never was the same after that. I was like, oh fuck. Imagine if they had that nowadays. If he were just scrapping. Oh wait, there are people calling people out. Who? Favela. <laughs> he is. He is, bro. Oh, but you see, again, like, the people on social media, not people in the community, don't even know half of it's going on, you know? That's the crazy part. What I did see, though, I saw this guy come back and um, Kai Kahele? Kai Kahele, yeah. You know, Kai Kahele is a good guy, bro. I like him. You know, as a... You he know, is? I don't know how he is in real life or as a character. I just do know... He fucking shot himself in the foot for the Hawaiians. Didn't he serve one term and was like, fuck, I'm out? Or not even one well, term? Well, he, I think he got in and then saw the opportunity to run for governor. Governor. And then fucking. He was there only one year. And after one year, he saw the opportunity to go for governor and went for governor. He had to, though, because he fucking shot himself in the foot. There was something that happened on Mauna Kea. And I remember there was, I forget what it was. It had something to do. It was one of these Senate meetings, and I'm not exactly sure how the layout is or whatnot. Maybe you can look it up, but he was on there, and he basically checked the state saying fucking, you know, this road is Homestead Road. You have no jurisdiction there, do you? And then, like, he basically went against everybody that was um, pro-TMT and said, fucking, well, you don't got no jurisdiction there, and then fucking made a ruling on it. At that point, he had, sh- of course, burned all his bridges with everybody who's in that little hui and fucking stood for the Hawaiians. And that was something, when I saw that, I was like, oh, you're fucked, bro. But fucking thank you. You know what I mean? Because at the well, time... It's the, where first, we're, it's the first positive thing I hear about him, so thank well, you for sharing. I heard that that guy's a clown. Well, yeah. at the time, <laughs> at the time we didn't have, you know, Mauna Kea was everything. You know, and so we was, I mean, any kind of support, we was all fucking rooting for anything that was... Mm-hmm positive in the favor and that might be wrong fuck if i'm wrong well then here would be another thing too it's like if you just fucked up why would you go run for governor what makes you think you're gonna win that fuck i don't know maybe that's his last shot he's like fuck it bro you know what i can't do anything else in this place because he was u.s senate right yep yeah and the thing is that when they checked his time during the you know him serving in the the u.s senate is he was barely there because he also works for Hawaiian Airlines. Mm. Oh, that's right. That's right. Pilot, yeah. So so he was like, here he was this, and here he was sick, and here he wasn't there. So he basically didn't represent <clears throat> Hawaii in this, you know, when he should have um, appropriated. Fuck, we should have him on, bro. Because we need any help that we can get over there in Washington mm-hmm. as far as financing, you know, like... Support. So the guy was just fucking ghosting it, basically. He's just like cruise mode. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, you know what? I'm going to run for governor now, bro. <laughs> he was getting his money while he was getting his money as a pilot while he's trying to run for governor. I'm like, I don't know. It's too much for me. But thank you that. for sharing his good things. Yeah. Well, fuck. That's all I know about the guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's that one time. That's all that I know. Yeah. I like it. When it comes to it, whatever he's done, I was like, shit, I don't even know what he's done. I wonder what was even going through his brain when he did that. Did he know that he was going to be like fucking done after that? Fuck. I don't know. You know, I mean, at the time, there was a lot of positivity with jumping on the, the, yeah, 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 the Mount yeah. Kea side of things as opposed yeah. to TMT. So maybe he saw like, oh, fucking rock. Momoa, everybody's yes. on it. Fucking, let me jump yes. on it too. You know, yes. I, we don't know what's going through his brain, yes. but all I know is anything I that was that. positive, Mauna Kea, positive. Yeah, I remember you guys made that song, right? 
You were like, yeah. um, you're like, you know what's super dope? If TMT built a telescope, and I was like, fuck, that's Man, wild. Suck your <laughs> dick, bro. <laughs> No, but your real song was Angry Locals was this guy was a real good one. These castles went without vi- the sea. Went viral your song that one. Which one? The one that you did about the telescope, wasn't it? No. No. Which one though? His version? No, we're, no, your we're version. We're muddying up everything now. No, your your real version. You guys, uh, you guys did a good song back then. No? It was During okay. COVID. Yeah, it was it was cool. It, it was a lot. good one. Do you think they're going to end up building that telescope? Fuck no. You know what I thought? Like, the government's shady and shit. Why didn't they just do it and not say anything? Because then no one would have knew about it. Brah. Have you been to Big Island? Yeah. Yeah, brah. The there, fucking, though. the fucking, the vibes up there is crazy different than out here. And I feel like the coconut wireless there is a lot more tighter than mm. here. That shit spreads like wildfire, bro. One fucker that is on the mountain fucking camping, hunting pigs, is gonna see the fucking truck come up. Word. That call's going yeah. out, yeah. calling up Kony, Ke- Ke- painkillers. Tell everybody. So, Boom, fucking Kahel goes out. So, but like, this is my thought. Like, if everything in government passed it, right, how would they stop it? I'm just like, honestly. Uh, Protesting gets you to a certain point, but what happens when they fucking arrest everyone again? There was a lot of laws that was um wasn't being followed. For instance, jurisdiction. You know what I mean? That one mm. road that went that was Homestead Road, and there's but, a lot, bro. But also, in order to do the job that they did, they had to do a research, right? The research that was done was done by University of Hawaii. The person that did the research on from the University of Hawaii, that professor that was responsible to do that, was sponsored by the TMT okay whatever. so the f- c- typical corrupt Hawaii bullshit yeah, okay so, yeah yeah she was <clears throat> a sh- I think it was a she if I'm not mistaken and she was an uh, advisor on their board and and on their company and she got one hundred sixty thousand dollars a year to be a that whatever title right and then of course she said yeah that has no problems and and because you know what they were saying, yeah? They were saying that once you build it, it actually goes into the water. Mm-hmm. And, the water and that was the, one of the main issues with it, and, right? Yeah. And then she said, ah, no, no, it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. No worries. <laughs> oh, it's going to be all right, though. That fucking no seven-figure check look good. That's why it's yeah, all right. Yeah, that's why no worries. You know what I mean? Who even needs water, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then people are like, Fuck. dude, what are you talking about? And then what happened is that people for... Uh, you know, like um, non-profit organizations mm-hmm. that are dealing with that kind of um, topics, they went and did their own research, and they took um, samples of the of the whatever mud or whatever. Right, 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 right. And then they said, "Oh no, it does have an impact. Like if you do build here, it does have an impact." And it wasn't just one nonprofit; it was multiple. And it actually contradicts the work that has been done by those guys. And this is when everybody said, wait, 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 wait. Who paid you? Why, why do we listen to those guys? Why are we not listening to all of those guys? Well, yeah, right off the bat, that's fucking super red flag. And, and this yeah. is when this shit hit the fan. When people realize that we're only listening to one entity versus all the other ones that are opposed to it. Right. And then people said, like, fuck it. What's beautiful about it, a lot of that up there, was that it was a lot of younger people <coughs> that was holding it down and sharing the information and educating everyone. Talking yeah. about, like, you know, 24, 25-year-old college graduates who, you know, their parents worked really hard, who also were uh, activists, but worked really hard to send their kids through school. So now a lot of the activists are now educated and knowing how to activate, you know? Activate. Yeah. <laughs> Kanakamole. Bro, that shit's wild. I love it. I fucking love it. I mean, by the end of the day, I have no problem for research. The opposite. I want research. I want research. Mm-hmm. But once I realized that it came like that, and he paid this person and that person, they paid that person to get the stamp, and then they get that verified by... This is when they lose me. This is when I get mad. This is when they lose all my respect for everything they want to do, and they're going to go to death for that place just because they try to fuck us. Well, plenty of people will too, you know? They're fucking... A lot of the uh, 
what Canucks they take their umbilical cords there, right? Like it is a religious practice for yeah. a lot of them. Um, but at the end of the day, remember, like they said, they could go Canary Islands, right? There's like, oh, okay, we could do here or we can do Canary Islands. Canary Islands is willing to have us. It's been how many years since? And they've never even inched to move to Canary Islands. I actually one time took my ex to Mauna Kea. Ooh. I said, peace. It was an offering. Fuck. She's still alive, though. She's, oh, you didn't, didn't sacrifice her. her. No, 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 no. no. I was just like, bye. Find your way back down. We're done. Jazz. This is just a joke. <laughs> I know. Try to Please don't. Don't take me up there. I don't want to be a sacrifice. Plus, I might be a politician soon. It's like illegal. It's like a, a fucking felony. No, if you do and you're a politician, make sure you bring a camera. <laughs> and some shots, just in case. I don't even drink, but I guess that's a politician thing. Yes, so. you need to start drinking. Yeah, you need to Hanging start drinking. Hanging out in the club. Bro, there's a secret club in there, bro. Kim Coco yeah. told us. Yeah. Fucking yeah. crazy. Speak at a house. Did you hear the story about uh, a person calling the cops on people after a party when they were drinking and reporting their license plates? No shit. You guys I thought Diamond said that on this. No? No. Could be uh, tripping? Maybe I'm think, tripping. Was there cops? No, I don't think he called cops. No, oh, yeah. There, no, not him. There was, a, there was a party they had that I heard about one of the representatives. Um, District 50. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> That she had call, started calling the cops on the people that were, like, leaving the party and, like, sh- calling, like, in the license plates. And so the reason I found this out was because I asked a few people. I'm not going to mention the names of those people. Ain't no snitching, bro. But um, because I had noticed that the District 49 rep and the District 48 rep had endorsed someone different for District 50, who is not the girl that's in right now. Oh. I was like, hmm. That's weird. Oh. I was like, oh. <laughs> well, I was like, boom. I was like, oh, shit. That's crazy. So hopefully she's not in there. That way I don't have to hear about this later on. She votes <laughs> no one on my shit because of it. But, yeah, it's it's pretty nuts. I know there's probably a secret click, but that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to – I'm not trying to do anything crazy, but in a sense I am trying to, as BJ Penn said it, bully the system. Yes. Uh, you get someone like me in there and we're going to make noise, not literal noise, but like things are going to, you know what I mean? I'm not just going to sit there and yep, 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 like the rest of these guys. I mean, Diamond, look at all his videos of him. He stands up and he's like, there is one, I forget what the bill was, but he was like, yeah, you know, there's just like this, this, and just don't make sense to me. I'm already knowing. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like it's the right amount of, you know, attitude, the tone. It's still professional in that setting, but it's like you're telling them basically to fuck off. And yeah. I think that's just, this is the absolute best way. When you're in an articulate way, this, there are ideas that don't make sense. In an articulate way, you know, you stand up, you take a video, you make sure you post it, and you just say, like, Please explain. I don't. I, I don't get it. Why does it make sense? Why there, there's no there's you know, this is the only way for us to make a change if we make it sound like articulate. Oh, oh. If you go there and you say fuck this, fuck that, you become like all temperamental, you know. No one wants to hear. No one's going to listen. No one to that. Mm-hmm. listen. But if you make them sound stupid, and it's not that hard, you just have to, you know literally translate what they're saying in 150 pages of every bill you have to put in one page right then you can make it and you know what we were talking before that we went on air we were talking about the bills that are 150 pages and i was thinking about it you know now you have chat gpt if you would have someone to put all bills into chat gpt and tell chat gpt give me a um, summary a summary a yeah. version in a page and a half of the most the bullet points and the most important things right? yeah, suddenly you get a page and a half you're like fuck this no hell no fuck this you know what i mean but when you have 150 pages you like who the fuck wants to this read? actually sounds like a very practical idea. I wonder if they're not, why they're not doing that already. Probably because they don't want people to fucking they understand. They don't want people to know. Yeah. It's like, as far as I'm, it, like, it's there, it's accessible, but like, you need to go out of your way to be a part of this. 100%. Yeah. And it's like, we need more 
I wouldn't say more accessibility because it is there. We just need more like awareness of it. And and then when there's awareness, though, it's I was always saying that like it's so much easier to just not give a fuck. Yeah. Right. Wow. This state's fucked up. These laws are fucked up. Yeah. And it's like how you said, the cause you just still go to your job, not worry about that shit. Mm-hmm. But this is what I <clears throat> one of the things that I was thinking about. It's like you're not going to do it for yourself. And for the people that do have kids, right? Mm-hmm. Do it for them. Because, like, the people that are getting voted in now, we're at, like, a... I feel like we're in a shift. And it could just be the social media hype. I could be wrong. But I feel we're, like, we're at a pivotal moment in history where, like, the, the literal future of this fucking state, our home, is on, like, a fork in the road type thing where if we get the right people in at the right time, we still have a chance to save this place. 100%. We still have a chance to put... Get people off the fucking the waiting list, the Hawaiians that have been waiting forever. Start to fucking, you know what I mean? Like, do things to help the people of Hawaii, its residents. And at the same time, we're also at a moment where if we don't, if people don't get involved, right? That the younger generation, the 18 and 25 year olds that don't vote, the Hawaiians that don't believe in America and don't vote, if, if people like that don't like finally get involved, we're going to go down this way, which is the way it's been going, only it's it's getting worse, I feel like. People yeah, are absolutely. leaving. And if you can't see it at this point, you're never going to see it. So it's like, you need to make a decision. Fuck, I literally did not give a fuck about anything like this a few months ago. Right? We made fun of it. We made fun of it a million times. It's real easy to make fun of it. And then like how you said, eventually when we got closer to it and to see it, it's like, all right, now I feel like I have a platform that's big enough that I can try and shoot my shot and be a part of this. If you... I feel like if people could just, if every Hawaiian, right, if everybody that wasn't involved in politics, even if it's not Republican or Democrat, whatever it is, whoever you vote for, just get involved. Look at the people who are running for the things that are running for whatever, Senate, uh, U.S. rep, state rep, and see, do this, does this person align with my values? And go out of your, it's off, go online, register to vote, real simple, get the ballot, right, fill it out, send it in. You can become a part of, of history of like where our home and the future of it will be Mm -hmm. but that's what it is it's like i feel like people are it's just way easier to not you know like you said it's easier to just be like wow that was that was cool yeah we could shape the future fuck but i got work i got bills to pay i'd rather just chill yeah and that's what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to be the guy to go from like yeah we're gonna make you laugh make you proud like let's fucking go dog if i can go out of my way to learn a little bit about the government so can you and like at, at the end of the day maybe you start to see the platform that i'm running on and see the stuff that i care about and you don't like it okay go vote for the other guy right yeah. like that's as that's as far as i'm willing to go if you don't agree with me maybe you agree with the other guy more go but fucking vote for him do something huh? just get involved just do something i say too even if you're not in my district you, you're getting inspired by me okay cool but you can't vote for me because you don't live here go read about your fucking two reps on the boat side see the shit that they want right then you put your vote in. And the thing is, when they do get in, or even now, you can go back and look at all the bills they have on the, the state website. They have all the bills that these representatives are sponsors of. Go look at a few of those things and see, like, all right, do these bills resonate with me? Like, does this seem like something I support? Does it seem like something that I'm not okay with? Okay, and then on that, you make your decision, you know? Go look at the other guy. If the other guy sucks too, well, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's time for you to go, right? That's what like, I always say. Maybe it's time for you to go sign a few papers, get a few signatures. Now you're running. Because now you saw the things that this person was doing, the thing that this person stood for, and they didn't. you didn't agree with it. So now you have someone like me doing the same thing. You could be the same person. Yeah. Literally anybody can run. Not yeah. that that's a good thing, but well, literally anybody can run. But anybody who is uh, passionate is should be important, you know? Yeah, and that was yeah. one of the things I was saying was like, you know, I don't have political experience, but like I've been in the community. I grew up in Kanye, you know what I mean? That's like that's like my home. And I wanna make sure like I like I said, take it a step further, like yeah, four four, but like for real, like yeah. four four dog, like four four to the real. to the capital kind. Yeah. But you know, at the end of the day, it's just it's easier to not get involved. I feel like that's gonna be the thing, but I feel like now that I have the platform I have and for the people that aren't represented in the government as much, the younger generation, the Hawaiians, I feel like if I can get in front of them and be like, 
listen, you know, let put me in, give it a shot, mm-hmm. and then we'll see how it goes. Worst case scenario, right? Worst case scenario, I fuck up, I don't do my job well, I'm just like the rest of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right? Let's go. <laughs> but best case scenario, I make some changes and you know it's good. So there's like a the fucking the ceiling is up there, but like the floor is right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fucking, you know? This so. is a good point. This is true. Well, <laughs> and 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 to that point, I want to say to all of you guys, uh, there's 365 days a year. You just need one day out of those 365 days to make a change. And if you're yapping and posting and talking about the situation and saying how. You don't like this and you don't like that. There's one day where you can make a change, where you can become a part of history and you can do your part. Just register, register to vote. You can do it online. It takes about eight minutes, maybe less, maybe four. Eight if you're really delinquent, but four if you're okay. Four minutes. Eight if you're in public school. (laughs) (laughs) Four minutes, sign up. Let's make a change. It's not that hard. We can make it. And with young people like Brock Cruz, just putting him out there and letting him prove us. Because the others don't want to prove us nothing. (laughs) They're already in there. They don't want to prove nothing. Let's bring the people that want to prove us, the people, the community, that they want to make it a better place. We have nothing to lose. And you get paid for it, bro. Like your job by law it has to give you two hours or something to go vote on the clock. Well, nowadays they have the ballots, the mail-in ballots too. So it's it's the mail-in ballots. You can nah, sit but you know, home, but you like smoke it. weed and still vote. <laughs> or do HGH pills or hike <laughs> or hike 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 who stairs, bro? Hey, can you bring it back though? No. no. No, you don't. You you don't like it. Oh, no, I think that there's other things that we could be doing with that money. And that <laughs> then taking it but down. do you see how quick that was? They're like, mm, we're doing this. And they yeah. pull their shit up and they're fucking, all right, we're on it. I'm like, how come we can't be that quick with everything else? I think there's like certain things. And I don't know. If so it, true. I don't think that involves this situation per se. But I know like there's always like money, buckets of money that need to be spent by a certain time. So a lot of things get pushed through real quick because if they don't spend the money. So speaking of that. Uh, one of the other things that we're going to do when we get in is figure out uh, a plan with the city and council to figure out what the fuck we need to do to get these potholes. So we're talking about the potholes, right? I yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> the, the potholes, <clears throat> you know that it's like way, it's way easier, easier and cheaper to fix them earlier on. Connie Oye has had fucking potholes. Of course, so does everywhere else. But Claudio has had, had potholes like fucking everywhere for the longest time lately. Mm-hmm. When that rain came by this last fucking other month, dude, it fucking made them so much worse. It made it so much worse, like so bad. They finally fixed the potholes. And when I fix, I mean like the patch that's probably going to fuck up in a few months anyway. But my thing is like, why can't we be more like preventative maintenance with it? Like, oh, that's a small pothole. Maybe do the little fucking tiny patch then. And not worry, like, it, they just let it sit, and it was bigger and bigger. Like how you said, bigger, bigger, bigger. And it's like, what the fuck is going on? Or we could just do like they did in that one town where they spray-painted photos on the ground. That was beautiful. That worked. It worked not that I'm endorsing time. that or saying that you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it did work. But hey. it worked. <laughs> Johnny, which idea is better? Botos on the ground or vigilante pop fiction? Botos on the ground. Botos on the ground. No one gets it. Well, no one gets in trouble if you don't get caught. <laughs> It's not a crime. It's not a crime if you don't get caught. Those were Chris Styles. That's a quote. That's what I'm going to use in my opening. uh, (laughs) But you know what's even cool, though? Like, imagine somebody fixes all the potholes. Say uh, you work for a brand like Defend Hawaii or something, right? And then you put Defend Hawaii logos on them so that they know you did it for the community. Love it. All right, so what you're saying is I should go spray paint my last name on all the potholes. Hey, vote Brock I did this. (laughs) Vote Brock (laughs) Cruz. I fixed the bottle (laughs) single-handed. True. Yeah, true. But yeah, um, uh, I don't think that they fucking should be ripping that thing down. I think there's other ways that we could utilize that Yeah. for like, you know. But it's just like, that was my thing was that like, how much was it? Like two... 2.5, 2.5, 3? Yeah, I don't know. And I was like, okay, but in the same district, right down the road, the people that are responsible for the potholes are spending the money on this. 
and on the fucked up roads. Plus, like, we pay taxes and uh, the vehicle registration. Yeah. And should have been this and that and this and that. You know what I the thought? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> you know what I thought? I thought, give that two two point five million dollars to the fire department and to the ones that are helping if someone is falling or whatever or need some assistance and need a helicopter. Right. Or give it to us and sp- split it between us in this room. <laughs> no. Would you sign for it? 66% each? 66% each? Isn't that what the raise they got? Oh, oh 64. I was like, I don't think... But see, your math, the <laughs> math wasn't mathing, huh? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> I've been in the sun all day, but don't mind me. I'm all fried, cousin. <laughs> well, Brad Cruz, you the man. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you coming down to our podcast and sharing with us uh, the past uh, hour, half, hour 45. Uh, it's been a great pleasure. And I want to tell you that you inspire me, Steezy. I know a snizzle right there and each and everyone in our community um, to do fucking more. I would just like to say that <clears throat> I endorse Ozna as the number one DJ on the islands, regardless of what you hear anywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, bro. Hey, is there any part of the podcast you want to edit it out? Oh, yeah. Uh, the part where I said that thing about uh, that one lady. And the part where I was giving my platform, and the part where you said that racist thing. Yeah. <laughs> Remember where you're being super racist? Yeah, the super racist part. Can we just take that out? No. I wasn't being racist. I mean, I wasn't being racist. Well, either. you were kind of being like, no, you're bare. super canceling. I'm not yeah. sure how. No, you're canceling, bro. I still don't understand it. Like, <laughs> this is the problem. I still don't understand it. Like, I have a Toyota. No, it's when you had said the N word. <laughs> Yeah, this guy's throwing you under the bus, bro. Nigel, please. <laughs> Josiah. <laughs> Josiah, my bad. Wrong name. Hey, but I have a gift for you. Oh, here we go. Yes. I'm going to get trolled. You're not going to get trolled, bro. This trolled. is genuinely from my heart. That's, that, I can already see it. Yes. yes All this right. Is, this is a one of a kind thing, bro. Okay. I don't think this is your size. This one is actually for Johnny. All right. I think this is your size. You're an extra large, I'm assuming. I already have the perfect comeback for the... Oh. What's the comeback, bro? It's a fucking Sons of Nana Cooley shirt. Oh, that yeah. Science, bro. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. yeah. No, that's what I was going to say. I can rep Nana Cooley now, too, because both of our high school teams don't win games. Yes! Yeah, okay. Fucking that was a, bro. Yeah. Winners out of losing schools. Well, <laughs> maybe if we combine teams, we could win a game. See? Sons and of Nana Cooley. You got, you got me go. and IA on your back, bro. Who's IA? He's uh, he's Isn't it AI, like ChatGPT? No, he's uh, Jesus Salud's son. Uh, I know who I is. I A. I A. I A. A. We got strong arm Hawaiian shirt for you, bro. Artificial, artificial intelligence? Yeah, but just don't use the shirt saying, you know, oh, I'm in Kapolei. Oh, I'm in Nana. <laughs> oh. That was a bad video. It was sad. What are you talking about? There was a video up that, I, that my friend sent me. Uh, it was a fucking Sugai. Fuck is his name? Are you talking about the one that he did with coconut? Yeah, I didn't see it yet. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh man, why you gotta put Nana Cooley on like that?" The shootings don't even happen in Nana Cooley. Let me just put that out there. Yeah, it's more of a wine I thing, but I'm not even gonna get into all of that. It's actually more of a Kalihi thing than above everything. I think you should contact your state representative. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to them about the gun violence. <laughs> Let's go and pop myself. Fuck it. <laughs> Oh, anyway, yeah. right. And, uh, <laughs> we want to we wanna make sure that we're going to award you the uh, Aloha Hour Hama Award for oh. you uh, going and representing us. Uh, not everybody gets the Hama Award, but you're definitely one of them Hamas. <laughs> when I get in the office, this is going to be the first thing that I put up. Fucking Hell yeah. Hey. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And I'll use this to make sure people sign my bills. <laughs> not by hitting them with it, like, do, do, no. do, everybody. Oh, like a didn't... judge court gavel. Yeah, sure. Yeah. For sure. Or the first one that I said. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever that makes sense. Allegedly. At that moment. <laughs> well, thank you very much for I coming, man. You. It was a great thank pleasure, you. bro. Thank I you so much. Yeah, thank you. Best of luck. Osna, thank you so much. You're the man. Steezy, I love you. Love you too, doggy. Always. Yeah. Well, we'll be back in a few weeks. Um, we're going to be out for about two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. All right. Three? Three? 
Three? I don't know. You tell me, Four? bro. <laughs> I'm flying out on Friday to Portugal. I'm going to be out for three weeks. So Ooh, we'll be back on uh, brushing in up, July. Brushing up on your... Uh, Portuguese. Yeah? And being a Portuguese. Yeah. <laughs> vina, vina lo, I, 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 I don't even know. Do you know any Portuguese? Uh, Are you Portuguese? Yeah. How much? At least 50. I don't even know. <laughs> Quantum I've, don't matter in 2024, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <gasps> Five, five, five or so, I'm guessing. That's it. I'm super mixed. I'm actually really mixed. I have like a bunch. Filipino and German. Nice, you like party to me. Hawaiian. I'm like 100% Hawaiian at this point. Let's we'll just call it, we'll just call it 100%. 100% Hawaiian. I'm a Hawaiian, I'm a Hawaiian select. Hawaiian <laughs> select. Select. I selected. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaiian select <laughs> <laughs> alright guys thank you so much for tuning in yes, thank uh, you for checking us out and we're gonna see you um, in the beginning of July we're out